Hey everyone, welcome to Bible Class. I'm Mr. Nastas, and I'll be your teacher. Here at Bible Class, we believe that Bible-believing Christians desire a deeper look at the Scriptures. They're sitting in pews, reading daily devotionals, and watching Christian television, and all they're really getting is Jesus loves you and wants you to be happy. Now, while there's certainly some basic truth there, we believe that God's Word is more exciting and deeper than what people are hearing. But when we try to dig deep and ask questions, we often encounter more obstacles than we do vehicles to help us engage and study our Bibles. We're told those questions are for seminary students and people with PhDs, or there are just some divine mysteries. Or my personal favorite, that's a good question, but does it really matter as long as we know that Jesus loves us? And If you're like me, these responses are frustrating. I believe that all sections of Scripture, the Torah, the prophets, the writings, the Gospels, the apostolic epistles, are all breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. And they're written for us to be able to read and understand. This reminds me of a story. Back in the day of Nicholas Copernicus, around like 1500 of the Common Era, Everyone knew the Earth was the center of the universe, and all the sun, moon, and stars revolved around it. The scientists, mathematicians, and even the theologians agreed. There were mathematical proofs and scientific uh, explanations to back it all up. You could have asked anyone on the street, and they'd all agree that the Earth was the center of the universe. The only problem was, it wasn't. Now, there were difficulties and problems with the system, like a normal person could go outside and look up and see a planet moving backwards across the sky and say, hey, that's not consistent with what everyone is saying. But they'd be told, the experts have it all figured out. We just need to trust the experts. And the experts did have it all figured out, sort of. I mean, there were crazy complicated mathematical solutions to some of these problems. And generally speaking, a normal person couldn't really understand them anyways, so they'd really just have to trust the experts. But then came Nicholas Copernicus, who basically just said, this is too complicated. I bet there's a simpler solution. All he did was shift from having the Earth being the center of the universe to putting the Sun in the center of the universe. And all of a sudden, everything worked. It was simple to explain, and everybody could understand it. There were no more need for these crazy, complicated mathematical explanations. But what it did require was a shift in what everyone believed. And it didn't go over that well. The scientists and mathematicians called Copernicus a fool. The theologians called him a heretic. The only problem was, he was right. And this is a lot of what it's like in the church today. The traditions and theology of man have been placed in the center of the universe. There are complicated and convoluted theological systems to explain or prove uh, that the traditions of the church and theology are right. But when a normal person opens up their Bible, starts reading and says, hey, this isn't consistent with what everyone is saying about it. They're being told the experts have it all figured out. We just need to trust the experts. This is where Bible class comes in. We want to be like Copernicus. We believe that the current system is broken. The traditions of man are being held above the actual words of God. We want to shift from the traditions and theology of man being the center of the universe to the word of God being the center of the universe. Because we believe the Bible was written for us to be able to read and understand. Yes, infinitely complex and infinitely deep, but written in such a way that a normal person can open it up, read it, and understand what they're reading, and encounter the God who created the universe. Now, this won't be easy. The Word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. It will require us to challenge some of our long-standing ideas of who God is and what we think God is like. But I promise you this, if you're willing to come with me on this adventure, we're going to discover some amazing truths within these pages. And Lord willing, we're going to change the world. So check out our other videos where we take some deeper dives into the scripture, looking at some books chapter by chapter, uh, as well as a quick look at some other passages and problem areas with a whole lot of interesting things to discover. I hope this was as much fun for you as it was for me, and enjoy the rest of your day here at Bible Class.